and welcome back to Azure Terraformer. Last episode, we set up our Azure DevOps Terraform project to provision a multi-stage pipeline. This episode, we're going to continue on that journey, this time adding a build validation pipeline that will execute a Terraform plan whenever we submit a pull request on the main branch. Before we get started, take this opportunity to smash the like button on this video. It really helps out. And while we're at it, if you've been enjoying my channel, please subscribe and smash that bell when you do so that you'll be aware of when I drop my next video. Anyways, let's get started. So here's my multi-stage pipeline that does the deployment using Terraform Apply. It's of course pointing at my Terraform multi-stage uh, YAML, which contains Terraform Plan and Terraform Apply. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually create a new build and this basically is going to be a slam dunk copy of my apply pipeline, but I'm going to modify it to be only a plan. And so by doing to do that, I'm just going to change the name, protect the innocent. Um, it's, of, it's going to go in the same folder as my apply pipeline. It's going to operate off the same branch and the same repository. It's going to use a different YAML file. So I'm going to update that path. The variable groups will be identical. The environment name and application name should be the same. So I think, I think we should be good here. So let's, uh, let's just go ahead and let's apply these changes. That was pretty quick. Let's go to Azure DevOps and let's just refresh and see what we got out there. Let's of course go look at my folder view so I can see them in all their glory. So I have two pipelines, a plan and apply and for, for two environments for my application, which I just called episode 43 here. So I've got dev and prod plan and apply for each. So basically this is, this is all that I need to get this working, um, from a plan standpoint. However, uh, if you recall, when we set up branch protection, under the under the branches here and we go and we set up branch policies um, we have to link one a build pipeline to the build validation step associated with the branch so let's go to the azure devops terraform providers documentation and see if we can find um, a resource like that so as you can see we have quite a few branch policy related items let's just type in a keyword validation and see what comes back and so we have this resource called branch policy build validation. Ding, ding, ding. I think we have a winner. So we click on this and let's go look at this thing. So we, it, uh, it's linked to a build definition and we have build validation. And it looks like the author of this sample has configured this for what most people probably use build, build validation for is when they're compiling actual like application code whether it's written in C sharp or Java or Python or whatever, um, you're going to compile your code. You're going to run unit tests and, you know, do whatever. And so basically anytime C sharp files are modified here within particular directories, um, now we're going to trigger this build validation. And of course we're going to do it on a particular branch, which is our default branch. So there, there are some other things going on here. Like there, they have this, uh, long lived, uh, branch prefix called releases, which I don't, I don't really think that we re really need. So, but so, so we're going to take this block, but we're going to modify it pretty, pretty heavily. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new file called build, rename this main, then I'm going to link it to the correct project, which is also main. The display name, because this is going to be doing Terraform plan, we're just going to name this Terraform plan and we'll probably associate it with the environment name. Now I did forget to actually set this to be driven based off the number of environments. So I'm going to add that right now for environments. That way the count dot index meta operator is going to work for us. So from a file pattern standpoint, I don't need, I don't think we need all these. But we do have uh, in our repository a source folder with a Terraform folder inside of it. And then inside that folder, we have Terraform files and whatnot. So pretty much anything within this path is what we're going to want to trigger off of. 
Um, this is going to allow us to separate this build validation step um, from other build validations that we might have. So if we're using Terraform to provision um, an Azure function, uh, we're going to we're going to probably have a different uh, build validation uh, process for when we at, when we make changes to our C# -sharp code, um, and that's going to run its own pipeline. Likewise, if we make changes to our Packer template, we might you know trigger a Packer build right instead of um, this Terraform pipeline. So I think it's a really good really good idea as you com compose uh, mul uh, as you compose projects that use multiple tools um, to, to make sure that you apply file name patterns to only trigger the correct health check or quality checks when, the, when they're applicable. So in this case, we're running Terraform plan. This is really a health check on our Terraform code. That's it. So now here we go. I've got my build validation and I'm applying it to all environments. I am linking it, or I'm setting the name, and ooh, I need to fix this, the build, the build definition ID. Um, of course, we have quite a few of those because we have this build plan here. Um, so we need to pick the right one out of this collection of resources. So I'm just gonna call this, I'm just gonna call this plan and then select the correct indexer and we should be good to go. So I like this right now. Let's uh, let's run Terraform apply and see if we can make this happen. So it looks like everything got updated. Let's uh, let's go try and submit a pull request on this uh, project and see if we trigger our build validation pipeline. So if you recall uh, previously, we had set up this project and it has a repository called infrastructure, which I've cloned and. I have set up locally in VS Code, um, and we just recently added this plan, these two pair of plan pipeline, um, and then also configured the uh, branch. So if we go look at the main branch of this repository, we go look at its branch policies. We have now set up two uh, build validation pipelines that execute anytime you change any file within the Terraform folder. Um, these are enabled. So um, I actually don't have permissions to, to manipulate this. Um, maybe next episode we'll get into identity and access control within Azure DevOps. Um, but for right now, I'm fine with this because I can make any changes that I want to this project using using Terraform. So um, we're we're good to go. So let's uh, let's go and submit a pull request. Let me pull up the code for this project. And I'm just going to get check out a new branch called change region. And we're going to go and we're going to change the region from east, West US to East US. And so, so here's our update. So let me push this update East US rocks and let's go submit a pull request. East US rocks. Um, and look at that. It's already triggering the two build validation pipelines that are going to run Terraform plan on dev and prod. And so you can see we're going to make some changes here. And of course, uh, this is a new environment. So we, um, you know, we're, we're going to be creating this new from scratch. But um, yeah, you can see that the pull request with the changes in the Terraform code have triggered this build validation pipeline. So this is a great way to um, verify the intent of changes you make to Terraform within all of the environments that you may be managing. Um, again, you can run plan on any environment to see what your feature branch is when what, what your pull request is going to do to those environments. And that's going to be a great indicator as to what actions you might have to take to plan a migration or to plan an update um, or to restructure your changes um, for upstream environments that are running production workloads. So this is a really valuable source of information when you're making changes to your environment um, to see what the impact is to those higher ordered environments that are really critical to keep online. 
So I hope you found this helpful. If you did, smash that like button. And if you're enjoying the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Also, ring that bell so you know when my videos drop. I usually publish videos twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays. So be on the lookout for those. Really, really appreciate your time with me and uh, hope you're enjoying the channel. Uh, until next time, this is the Azure Terraformer signing off.